Good afternoon, guys. It's Chris from DAXTrader.co.uk. I'm going to do a wrap up for DAX technical analysis for the first day of December uh, 2014. So, I hope you've all had a good day. There's been a lot to uh, to trade today, specifically on the dollar weakness and um, I guess the corresponding uh, strength in gold. Uh, there's not been a huge amount of activity on the DAX today for certainly any trend traders like me. Um, for range traders, it's been a very, very clean range today. And there's been a couple of good opportunities that have been highlighted by these arrows here uh, where we could have got in and out of trades. I think for the day, we opened up uh, as a gap lower and then had this little mini pin at the bottom uh, where we re were rejected. Had another mini pin at the top, so immediately there's your sort of range lines. Um, but then the range started compressing, so we would have probably pulled our range lines in. And as this volume distribution profile was being drawn, I'd have probably put in my trading lines at the top, if you like, at the, the developing value areas, just inside the developing value areas, um, and look for trigger points. So, for example, I'll be looking for a sell here because it just came outside the value area, another sell here possibly looking at another cell here um, or if you don't have the value zones to actually trade on you would look at the pin bars so there was one here there was one there um, arguably one there but I probably wouldn't have traded that probably would have traded that one probably would have traded this one uh, and possibly this one here so there's a couple of opportunities here a few different arrows that have suggested opportunities to get in but of course there um, yeah, I mean, they, they look great, but at the time, you, you possibly sort of sometimes uh, make your own analysis and don't always follow them blindly. So I didn't trade any of these today. I have not traded anything at all today on the DAX. Uh, I've been away, so um, I've been pretty quiet. Uh, so I've missed not only the opportunities to trade the DAX in range, but uh, I mean, if I'm serious and I want to get into trade, then perhaps this is an opportunity to get in one because it's just come out towards the top of this value area here. And there's a sell opportunity there. So uh, I might take that when I finish the video, depending on how we go. So not really a lot to say today. We've been trading underneath the value area high from Friday. And uh, above that, we have a value area high and an VPOC from Thursday. We just about pierced the VPOC from Thursday, but didn't manage to stay above it. We rejected, created this pin, and then fell way down through the VWAP and all the rest of the other uh, levels to find the bottom of the distribution here. So didn't get up to the deviation high, so that's been closing in and pinching a bit. Uh, we did manage to get up to the deviation low, but that has also now started to come up and start pinching. And the VWAP has been pretty much horizontal all day. Um, while it's trading at around about 99.44. So that would have been a good opportunity to sell for 10, 15 points or so. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to sit out and, and leave that for now. So I'm sure there's been a few a few trades out there today from you guys. I'm sure you've been range trading a little bit on here. If we look at the five minute chart or certainly the daily chart, we're still trapped in this little range we looked at earlier. Uh, today looks like it's going to be a fairly neutral kind of day. Um, I think it's going to be very similar tomorrow and Wednesday. I'd be surprised to see a significant breakout to the down or the upside here, unless there's any kind of other release that comes out that we weren't expecting. But on a five minute chart, let me just move this get out of the way. Um, just remove this as well, I think. Uh, okay, let me just okay, zoom out a little bit more. On the five minute chart, if we're looking at some of these levels, uh, I thought I'd gotten rid of this fib, so let me just do that again. All right. We're starting to compress now into this kind of, uh, I don't think I can draw a triangle on it. I'll do it manually, but we're starting to compress into this wedge and it's quite a clean wedge. But of course, sending a five minute chart, so how significant that's going to be, we'll find out. But we're compressing in and around the S1 and the R1, and we are actually getting towards the top of this, if not actually breaking out of it at the moment, if you consider that that was the wedge before. So let's see how price reacts to that over the next 10, 15 minutes to see whether we continue to the upside here and um, maybe start testing these previous highs or whether we bounce back in and continue with this, this wedge formation. But of course, it's not going to continue like that forever. 
and um, we'll, yeah, then we'll, we'll, we'll find out how it reacts. But we were compressing inside this wedge, and you know what happens when these we, we get these obtuse. There's normally some sort of break to one side or the other, and um, but we haven't really tested any sort of major levels today. We sort of briefly flirted with the S1, didn't get anywhere near the R1. Um, so I think if anywhere we're going to break to one side, I think that this could be um, a sort of a false breakout, more likely to break to the downside temporarily. Uh, but we're all eyes to Thursday. I think that if um, we go by what was coming out earlier on, there was some information to suggest that maybe there's not actually going to be a huge amount of action from the ECB. And um, the currency itself will certainly like the sound of that and that will gain a little bit of strength short term but it will probably take a little bit of value off of the DAX uh, of course if they do decide to go with the QE option which I'm still not entirely sold on I still don't know exactly really what benefit it's going to have specifically in the Eurozone it's a different type of economy to that of Japan and uh, the US so they're going to need to get creative I think with the way that they're going to um, the way that they're actually going to implement it and uh, this possibly suggests, this is possibly the, one of the reasons why they've taken so long to actually make a proper decision, get going on it. They've said that there's, they're going to make, they're going to take action swiftly should it need to happen. But it's a case of uh, finding out what the right type of action is, I think. So um, the euro has stumbled a little bit higher today as um, certain market participants are not expecting ECB action following hawkish comments from um, Lauterschlager. So let me just see if there's anything else that's actually happened on the DAX. But at the moment, it's pretty boring. We're just trading sideways, compressing up in this range, not really doing a great deal. And um, I think that so long as we stay trapped in this range, it's a good opportunity to trade the, to, to, to trade the bounces and um, just keep it simple. Uh, this computer is really slow today. Still haven't got my other laptop back yet, so I'm gonna have to persevere with this one painfully until uh, until I get it back. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother playing with these lines. It's not doing what I want it to do. So yeah, as long as we're trapped inside these lines, um, not a lot is gonna be happening, I think. In terms of other markets today, I've missed a huge run on gold today, and. Um, I got in and traded it short from Friday, expecting there to be a no vote on the referendum. That came in as a no, and I got out somewhere down here, but certainly did not expect that to happen. And that is a, well, $65 rise in, in, in the gold price. So had I got a decent position on there, that would have been quite a tasty win. So missed that. Congratulations to you guys. I'm sure some of you probably did catch it. Um, but in terms of other markets that I'm looking at at the moment, uh, the US dollar index, which had a, sh a sharp sell-off on the, uh, well, the, the dollar has lost quite a bit of value, I guess, today. And um, and that has been seen in some of the currency pairs. If we look at some of these charts here, you've got a couple of buy signals on the Kiwi US dollar. You've got sell signals on the dollar Swiss. You've got sell signals on the dollar CAD. You've got sell signals on the dollar yen pretty much everywhere it's telling you to sell the dollar and it all ties in with the rocket up in the price of gold and the sell-off value in the the US dollar index um, so there's quite a bit of dollar weakness um, we're well, interested to see what kind of numbers come out uh, in terms of event risk over the next week or so to, um, to to pull back some of the confidence in that currency but at the moment haven't got a trade on it, but there's certainly some opportunities out there. There's an interesting one that's actually come up here on the Euro Ward. Um, there's a sell signal that's coming there on this just sort of mini pullback. And there is this kind of gap area here where we opened up higher and we're just threatened to close that. And there's about 30 pip or so in there that we can, we can pick up if it does close. Um, but I'm possibly... I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to take that option, but it's, it's definitely um, a signal nonetheless. Uh, gold, probably going to sit out of at the moment. I think I've missed the opportunity to get long there, and uh, we're going to watch it. I'll break. I'll trade a breakout on the DAX. 
the euro dollar is always one that I'm sort of a bit reluctant to uh, to to trade at the moment. It just uh, is moving a little bit sideways for my liking, but we're kind of trapped in the middle of that range just on a, a quick look over the sort of last week or so, uh, week or two. So I think uh, at the moment I'm probably going to sit out of that and not going to be buying from this level. I don't really see a good risk reward ratio. So I've got no real strong signals to send out for you guys. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit boring for the next couple of days, certainly until Thursday. Um, trading in these sort of conditions is difficult. Uh, it's frustrating. So um, I might take a bit of a back seat and try and get this signal working. I still haven't managed to find a way out yet. But at the moment, what I have got is just a sort of a, a quick demo account, which I'm probably going to use with FXCM. It's... They offer a fifty thousand dollar demo account for free, and you know I, I can't seem to get it working on a five thousand amount. So um, it's not going to be a realistic amount of money that I'm trading with, but I'll just use it to put the signals on that I'm trading live. And then you know if you guys want to follow what's going on with it, you can do. It just makes it a little bit easier for me to post the trades up. So anyway, uh, I hope you had a good day. I'll leave it there for now, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow for another video.